Okay, so we're looking at a revision for the series sequences uh, test that's coming up, and it's going to be a, a fairly long video, so we'll try to get through things. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to have a go at the questions yourself or just watch me do them, but if you want to, then just pause the tape. I'll give you a chance to pause, and then we'll go for it. So have, pu have a pause, and if you're ready, come back when you're ready. Okay, so we've got an arithmetic sequence. Uh, we've got T4. Oh, so it says find T4 and find Tn. Uh, first term is 6. So the first term is 6, and the seventh term is 10. Let me just make sure that's right. Let's make sure it's clean. Yep, is 10. So T7 is 10. And we know that T7 is A plus 6D. You subtract 1 to get the differences. So therefore, 6 plus 6D equals 10. 6D equals 4. So D equals 4 plus 6, which is 2 thirds. Okay, so we've got A, we've got D. Now we can answer the questions. So T4 equals a plus 3d equals 6 plus 3 times 2 thirds. 3's cancel out, so the answer is just 8. And tn, um, you've got two approaches. You've got the a plus n minus 1 d approach, or you can just use the shortcut. The difference, 2 thirds, will be the coefficient of n. And then to get from 2 thirds up to 6, you have to add five and one third. So that'll be what the TN approach is, or just sub the numbers in and simplify. Okay, let's move across. Okay, so we've got T10. T10 is 100. T15 is 175. So find A, find D, and then find TN. So pause and come back when you're ready. Okay, you're back. T10 is A plus 9D equals 100, T15 equals A plus 14D, 175, we subtract, and D is 15, um, so we've actually found D first, uh, go back and find A, so A plus 9, 15 equals 100, 9 once, that's 135, equals 100, so A equals minus 35, so we found A, and then find a TN. So again, using you got the approach A plus N minus 1D, put the numbers in and expand out, but D is 15, so that becomes the coefficient. And how do we go from 15 to minus 35? We subtract 50, so that's your TN. Okay, next one. Okay, so pause, again, we've got an AP, and we've got three consecutive terms. So pause and have a go. We're trying to find the value of x. Okay, so we're back. So there's a common difference between the terms. Between the terms. So that means that 3x plus 4 minus x, those two terms' differences must be the same as those twos. 7 minus 3x plus 4. Okay, so on the left hand side we've got 2x plus 4. 10x minus 3x is 7x. Minus 7 minus 4 is minus 11. Uh, take the x's that way, take the numbers that way. So we've got 15 equals 5x. So x equals 3. So we found the value x. Okay, next one. Okay, so we've got, we won't actually do those last two, we'll just want S5. So the question is, is an AP, okay? Fifth term is 10, the eighth term is 16, you've got to find S, so you have to find A and D first. Okay, so pause and have a go. T5 equals A plus 4D equals 10, T8 is A plus 7D equals 16. Okay, so we subtract 3D equals 6. D equals 2, so I found D. I've got to find A. So A plus 4 times 2 equals 10. A plus 8 equals 10. A equals 2, so A equals 2. 
Uh, now we're going to find S5. So um, you've got two choices. You've got a long formula, Sn equals N on 2, 2A plus N minus 1D, or you've got N on 2 first plus last. Now I'm going to use that one. All I have to do is find Tn, and then I'll find, once I've got S5, I can find what's the last term. So Tn, okay, the coefficient is 2, so that um, is 2n. How do you go from 2 to 2? You don't have to do anything, so it's just plus 0. So that means that T5 equals 2 times 5 equals 10. So now I'll use S, not Sn, S5 equals n on 2. The first term is 2, the last term is 10. So 5, 2 plus 10 is 12, half of 12 is 6, so S5 is 30. Or you can just use the, la the long version. But if you want to use this version, you have to find the last term, and the last term of S5 would be T5. Okay, um, find the sum of all integers div divisible by 3, that between 200 and 400, and we'll do the second one as well. Okay, so have a go, uh, and then come back when you're ready. Okay, so for A, if all the terms are divisible by 3, that means that the general term is just 3n. Now the first number past 200, that divisible by 3 is 201, because 2 plus 0 plus 1 is 3. So that's 3n, so n equals 201 divided by 3. 3, 6 is a minus 2. So that's the 67. Now the last number would be 399 because 3 plus 9 plus 9 is divisible by 3. So n equals 399 divided by 3 equals 133. So all the terms divisible, uh, we're going to use n on 2 first plus last. Now between 133 and 67, you subtract the numbers and then add 1. So 133 minus 67, and then you have to add 1, otherwise you're one number short. So 33, 66. So there's 67 numbers. So 67 on 2. First number is 201. The last number is 399. And we'll see what that equals. 67, I have to calculate it on. 67 divided by 2. It was times 500 times 600, and that gives me 20,100. Now I won't do, I won't bother doing part B, but uh, the question was about divisibility by 6. Okay, so if a number is divisible by 6, it's also divided, divisible by 3 and 2. So we have to use that same trick where you add the digits, but 2 means it has to be even. So the first number would be 204, and the last number would be 396, and the general term is 6n. So that's the approach you would do, and just do the same steps. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so the sum of the first four numbers of an AP is 58, and the sum of the next four. So we've got between T1 and T4, and then between T5 and T8. Okay, and then find the sum of the following four numbers. So that would be T9 to T12. Okay, so it sounds like it's tricky, but it's actually not too bad. So have a go, and when you come, you come back and read. Okay, the first four terms are A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D. So when you add those numbers, you get 4A plus 5, 6D, and those numbers add to 58. The next four are A plus Four, a plus five, a plus six, a plus seven, and when you add those up, you get four a plus nine, fifteen, twenty-two d, and they add up to twice that number. So twice that number would be one one six. So then you'd subtract that expression from that expression. So. 16d equals 58. So unfortunately, that's not pretty. 58 over 16. Um, so that equals 3 and 5 eighths. Um, 
and then we've got to find the a value so for a let's use that expression for a plus six times three and five eighths equals fifty eight so multiply by six so four a plus twenty one and three quarters equals fifty eight numbers aren't pretty um, subtract that number from fifty eight so four a equals thirty six and one quarter and then divide by four so a equals nine and one sixteenth so now they've got a and now they've got d i would then find the sum of the next four terms so i won't worry about doing it but you'll have to do a plus eight a plus nine a plus ten and a plus eleven so you've got four a plus 17, 27, 28, 38D. So just use the D number and the A number and then you'd finish it off. But that's the hard part. Done already. Okay, moving across. Okay, um, find the nth term and the tenth term in a GP. So this is the start of GPs where the first term is 2 and the third term is 18. And this other thing, why are there two possible answers? So we'll look at that. And then we probably won't do the second one, we'll just save some time, but you can look at it. Okay, so pause and when we come back. Okay, so with the GP, the terms are ARN minus 1, but the first term, so we'll do A, so the first term A is 2, T3 equals AR squared, which is 18. So 2 times r squared equals 18. So I'm just putting a equals 2 in that position. So r squared equals 9. So the reason there's two answers is because there's an even power. So r equals equal plus or minus the square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3. And so the question then becomes, what are the two possible answers? Oh, so we're going to find the nth term. So tn equals 2 times 3 to the n minus 1 or 2 times minus 3 to the n minus 1 um, and we've got to find the tenth term so I won't get all the way through it so 2 times 3 to the 9 or equals 2 times minus 3 to the 9 so you don't you wouldn't have to expect multiply out but they're the two answers one's going to be a plus and one's going to be a minus so the same thing we won't do the second one but it's something similar um, you'll have an even power so if you had r2 or r4 or r6 whatever you'll always have a plus or minus if you have an odd power there's only one answer come on yes okay uh, for the gp 3 mn 192 find the possible values for m and n so it's a gp Okay, so have a go when you're ready to come back. Okay, so we know that that number's A, and that's AR, and that's AR squared, and that's AR cubed. So therefore, 3 times R cubed equals 192. R cubed equals 192 divided by 3. 3 million equals 6. 64. Now, there's an odd power, so the answer is just the square the cube root, the cube root 64, which is 4, and so the next numbers are going to be, uh, m will be 3 times 4 equals 12, and then will be 12 times 4 equals 48, and then 48 times 4 equals 192. So again, an odd power, there's just the one answer, so if, it was, if this number was negative, it would be minus 4, but it's positive, so it's positive 4. Okay, find the values of x such that the following forms of gp. Okay, so earlier we had common difference, now we've got a common ratio. Okay, so uh, have a go, when you're ready, come back. Okay, so we know that t2 divided by t1 equals r, and we know that t3 divided by t2 equals r. So that means that 3x plus 4 divided by x minus 1 is the same as 6x plus 8 over 3x plus 4. Now normally we do a cross multiply to get the denominators off but you might notice that 
if I factorize the top, So the top factorizes and then I can just cancel out and then I just do my cross multiply once over to there. Two bracket x minus one. So three x plus four equals two x minus two. Take the x's that way, take the numbers that way. So x equals minus six. Now if that didn't cancel down, then you would do a cross multiply both ways and end up with two sets of brackets, you'll end up with two sets of brackets and then expand out, expand out and then bring everything to one side and make it to equal to zero and then solve the quadratic. Okay, so it doesn't have to factorize but in this particular case it did. So if it doesn't factorize then do a cross multiply then you'll end up with two sets of brackets, expand, expand and then bring everything to one side and make it equal to zero. Okay, next question. Okay, uh, f insert three terms in between 8 and 1 over 32 such that the numbers are A, G, P. So it's a similar question to the last one. That's A, 1, 2, 3, that's R, f that's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, so that will be A, R, 4. Okay, so have a go and when you come back. So we've got 8 times R to the 4 equals 1 over 32, so 32 times 8, so R4 equals 1 over 256. Now we've got an even power, so that means it's plus or minus the fourth root of 1 over 256, which is a quarter. So there's going to be two sequences. So the first sequence is if we have the plus numbers 8. Uh, divided by 4 is 2, divided by 4 is a half, divided by 4 is 1 eighth, divided by 4 is 32. And the second two is they just alternate to pluses and minuses. So you still end up with 1 over 32 and you start with 1 over 8, but the sequence will go plus 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 or minus plus minus. Okay, so don't forget if it's an even power, it's plus or minus. If it's an odd power, it's 1. Okay, so next question, we won't worry about the last two. So the first term is 3,000 and the common ratio is 1.05, find S4. Okay, S, so Sn equals A, Rn minus 1 over R minus 1, or 1 minus Rn over 1 minus R, depending on which one you use. I always use the first. Okay, so have a go. Back, so S5 equals... 3000, uh, 1.05 to the power of 5 minus 1, r minus 1 will be 0 0.05, okay, so just use your calculator, 3000 times open bracket 1.05 to the power of 5 minus 1 close bracket divided by 0.05, and I got oh, it's a really big number, 16,576.89375. So it's a bit silly answer, but that's what it is. Okay, moving on. Uh, what minimum number of terms? Now we've got to work out. We could be a mixed question, but if you have a look at that, it's definitely not going up as an AP, so it's a GP. So R equals 3 on 2, which would be the same as 4.5 divided by 3. So what one of the terms must be taken to give a sum that exceeds 100? Okay, so it's a GP sum. So have a go. Come back when you're ready. So SN equals A, uh, R to the minus 1, over R minus 1. Um, so 2 times... 3 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 over a half has to be bigger than 100. So multiplied both sides by 100 and then divide by 2. So I'll do it in steps. So 2, 3 over 2 to the n minus 1 multiplied both sides by a half. You can 
11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 
15 years. Uh, what was her percentage increase at the end of her first and her 14th? Okay, because it's going to be a different percentage because it's a different base. Okay, so have a go. Okay, you're back. So the first part is it's an AP because it's a constant increase. Um, so A equals 28,000. D equals 2,500. And in the 15th, N equals 15. So 215 equals A plus 14 differences. So 28,000 plus 14 times 2,500. So she gets $63,000. Okay, part C. How much has she earned altogether? Well, we'll do S15 equals N on 2. First was 28,000. Her last was 63,000. So 7.5. Clear. 7.5 times bracket 28,000 plus 63,000. So I've got uh, 682,500. So that's part C. What was the percentage increase at the end of the first and the 14th? So at the end of the first, um, it's going to be 2,500 over 28,000 times 100. 2,500 divided by 28,000. So that's going to be 8.9 percent and then in part B 2,500 okay she finished at 63,000 which means the year before that she would have been at 60,500 times 100 divided by 60,500 so we're at 4.1 percent increase okay okay four pages to go uh, kind of caters 200 movie tickets to give away to people. She gives the first person one, the next person two, the next person four. So it's going one, two, four. So it's a GP question. And so on. Oh, it's a GP, yeah. GP. Until she, can no until she can no longer give the nth person two to the n minus one. So that formula there is where the one and the two get, are coming from. Okay. How many tickets does the last person receive? How many tickets has Kate left over? Okay, so we've got 200, so it's a sum. So you could do it, you could do it pretty quickly, um, old fashioned way, but have a go and think, think of what you can do. Okay, so one, two, four, eight. This might be just the easiest way to do it. Okay, so we're not going to get to 128 because he's already given away too, too many tickets. So we're just going to add up that sequence there. Um, so I've got 3, 7, 15, 31, 31, 63, 127. So how many tickets did the last person receive? 127 tickets. And how many does Kate have left over? Um, she has 73 tickets left over. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Okay, come across when you're ready. Three to go. A student three metres from the door and decides it will take a one metre step followed by half. So it's three metres and so it's taking a one metre step and then a half of that and then a half of that. So it's going to be a GP and it's going to be the sum to infinity. And we're going to see if they can get to the three metre mark. So have a go. When you're ready, come back. Okay, so it takes a one metre step and then it's going to be half after that. So S infinity equals A over 1 minus R, which is 1 over 1 minus a half. So the most he can get to is 2 metres, so he'll be, he can't get, he, the closest he can get is 1 metre from the door, because that's the sum of infinity. Okay. Okay, convert to fractions using limiting sum. So again, you know what these answers are going to be, but you have to do it. So for instance, um, we know that 0.5757 is going to be 57 over 99, which you can cancel down. 57 over 99. So that equals 19 over 33. And the part D answer will be 2, 34, 34. So the answer is 2 over 34 over 99. 
which doesn't cancel down, but we have to use the limiting sum. So we'll just do the first one as a limiting sum, and then you can practice the second one. So a equals 0.34. So this, the whole term is not 34, 57. So the, the sum is 0.57 plus 0.057 plus dot 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 dot. Um, so a is 0.57, r equals 0 0.01 when you divide those two terms. So S infinity equals 0.57 over 1 minus 0 0.01, which is 57 over 99, and then equals 57 over 99, which equals 19 over 33. So practice the second one, but that's a bit. Coming up to the last question. Okay, coffee cools according to Newton's rate of cooling. That's great. Okay, the table shows the temperature each minute. So we've got to work out what sort of sequence we've got. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pause for a sec. Okay, I was just having a look at the question again. So the temperature, um, make it back to 10. The temperature shows the temperature in a room at 20 degrees. Room to just subtract the time. So we, it's to do with the time, the temperature difference from 60. So this one's 60. This one's 54, this one's 48.6. So that's the pattern we're looking at, not this pattern, because it's to do with the difference of about, about 20. Okay, so we can suspect it's a GP. It's definitely not an AP. Okay, the person who made the coffee will drink it only if it has a temperature in excess of 50. So we're looking um, how long before it gets to uh, a difference of 30. Okay, so. A is 60, R equals 54 over 60, which is the same as 48.6 over 54, and that equals 0.9. So we want, um, that's to be 50, that's 50, so we need to have the difference of 30. So we need um, Tn to be greater than 30. Alright, uh, therefore, A, 60 times 0.9 to the n minus 1 has to be greater than 30. 0.9 to the n minus 1 has to be greater than 30 over 60. And so n minus 1 is greater than... Oh, now, um, base is less than 1, so we have to flip the sign. So n minus 1 is less than log 0.5 over log 0.9 so n minus 1 is greater than that so I'll just check my calculator log 0.5 divided by log 0.9 which is 6.578 so n is less than 7.578 so we've got uh, to the nearest minute. What's the minimum time? So the minimum time is 7.5 minutes. Okay, and it has to be less than... So for the person to drink the coffee, you have to have less than 7.5 minutes. After that, the temperature will be less than 50. Okay, that's a long video, but that's your last revision. Okay, bye.